Our company is United Franchise Group. We've got 1,800 franchises in 72 countries. Our flagship brand is called Signorama. Uh, we have over 100 of those in Australia. We've now got Embroid Me with over 56 of those in Australia. And we've just launched a new brand in Australia called Experimac. And we also have another brand called Transworld Business Advisors. So we are a business-to-business franchise owner. I think in my time I was a franchisee in a previous life so I've been involved in franchising in one fashion or another for about 20 years and I think the professionalism, things like the franchise code, events like this have cleaned up the franchise industry a lot. You don't read some of those articles of around 15, 20 years ago so I think that it's, it's a lot more tightly regulated which I think is a good thing. Well, statistically, we're in a high growth. I mean, if this show is any indication, it's just the best show I've seen in five years. So I think uh, the risks in franchising are, are reversed compared to an independent small business by and large. So I think franchising will continue to grow and it'll get into different business sectors. I think business services and, and areas like our Experimac business model are going to continue to grow in franchising. And uh, what do you feel are the advantages of buying an established franchise over starting your own business? I think that's a choice. I've done both as, as a franchise owner and I think some people uh, prefer an established business which has got instant cash flow and, and we have both opportunities in our company. Now, some people may have a particular geographic requirement, they may want to travel or they may be in a regional area or have a particular area they want to live in and that may only be a start-up opportunity available. I think both have merits, uh, it depends on your own personal circumstances and just your personal style. I've done both and both worked out just fine. I think all businesses are hard work and I think you need to be well prepared. I think financing in this country is always a bit more of a challenge. I think a few more of the other banks need to get on board in terms of, of franchising. There's really one or two that one can go to. So I think we need to widen the financial platform available and I, th I think you just need to be prepared for hard work. It's hard work in the early days but it can be incredibly rewarding in the medium to long term. And what supports that a new franchise owner expect from a franchisor? Well, that they should expect a lot because that's the role of the franchisor. I mean, the, the requirements of a franchisee change as you go along. At the start, it's quite basic. How do I find that? Where do I do that? And you need a franchisor that grows and evolves with you as you get like busier and you're in the franchise chain a little longer, your, your requirements become a bit more strategic and then towards the end of your journey it's a bit more about an exit strategy. So you want a franchise all that's evolving with you and understands where you are on the journey and has empathy for where you are in the business. You, there needs to be good communication and at all times you need who, to know who to speak to. So you would recommend the franchising to? Absolutely, I'm a franchising tragic so absolutely.